This is Anna. I'm going to make a peacock feather on this beautiful arm right here using a blue and gold rainbow cake that I have on sale at JustPaint.com. All I'm doing is spinning a little circle around here and it keeps the blue in the center and then it has like a nice gold shimmer with a dark brown outline around it. It like that. And then, once you've spun it around in a circle, the brown on the outside, all you have to do is add some green feathery stuff. This is Diamond Effects Metallic Green. And you just kind of pull them around like a goblet kind of shape. Like it goes out, comes in, goes out, around, and kind of flops out. So it's like the bottom of an eight. And then, these make the little stem. And then I'm going to use some dark green also to pull it, top it out. So we'll have some shimmer and we'll have some bold dark green. And then you can just make these little wiggly feather lines coming out of the stem and kind of keep a space between them so that they're not all bunched together into a big bush. And I'm going to go around and just outline that circle with dark green. But, and then if you want to, you can add white highlight to the edges of these little green tendrils. Or you can put gold on some of these little green tendrils. But that's like the basic idea of how to do a peacock feather. I'll add a little white highlight. I'll put like a little white polka dot right there. And then I'll just show you what it looks like. Stick a little. We're outside. We're outside! Can you hear the cars? It's just a couple fine white lines to make it really pop out. Oh, there's a quick peacock. Okay, I'm going to do the peacock necklace again um, and show you how you can just make it as a quick necklace. So I'm loading up my rainbow cake, this blue and gold and brown, and then I'm going to do the little spin in the perfect 360 degree circle right there. You can play with the shape once you've got that blue on the corner of your sponge. A lot of times peacock feathers look like an upside down heart or a right side up heart or some sided heart. So you can just add to it if you want to. I'm just going to use the dark green first this time. And I'm just going to put some little feathers growing out of that circle. I saw a book Lily Walters did with a peacock feather, and she used a really fine shredded up brush to add little hairs going all the way over the whole feather, and it looked really cool, so that's another thing you could do. Um, this time I'm going to highlight it with light green instead of white, and those little hairs. So now I've got some dark green and some light green. And then to make a quick beaded necklace, if you want to put two colors and double load, I'm going to put white on one side of my brush, flip it over, and put purple on the other side of my brush, and then I'm just going to stamp with the white side down all the way around the neck. And then maybe I'll put one right up down on here to make the beads going around the necklace, and then if you put a little bit of white right in the center of that peacock necklace, it's going to pop. Um, I'll show you with a rake brush, or you can use a fan brush. Oh, I don't have black out here. Maybe I'll try it with dark blue to do the little fine hairs. I'm going to use a fan brush and just load this up. It makes really awesome little hairlines 
and you can start just at the top and pull it down over the whole peacock feather. And then it adds all those little tiny cracks in the feather, which is really cool. And then if you want, you can put sparkles on it and say, ole, ole. Remember, you can get any of these supplies, the rainbow cake, or the colors, or the brushes at justpaint.com. I just added a dark circle right around that to add more definition to the peacock feather using it from the end, inside of my cake, my little blue and gold cake. Have a good day!